You know, Maldives now wants the two advanced light helicopters to be returned back to India. It says it does not need them, that it wants a Dornier in return. Do you think there is more than what meets the eye, that it wants India out as far as a strategic hold is concerned? What do you think? China wants India out of Maldives, and that's exactly what is happening. Chinese infers, uh, Chinese people are present in uh, Lama at all, where the helicopters are ba helicopters based, and they want uh, they want the Maldivian government to uh, get India to remove the helicopters. And uh, we feel that India should not remove the helicopters at all. It's something that has served the Maldivian people, evacuating the, the sick people from different islands, and it has done a very very good job, excellent job, and we are very grateful and and uh, we. We thank the Indian government for this and we, we believe that they should keep it and not take it away. You have seen reports of how Maldives has now been denying work permits to Indians on a large scale. Yeah. How damaged today do you think are the bilateral relationship? I think that's a very serious issue. You see, the Maldivian uh, president have never ever liked India. I have been, I worked with him for 16 years in the same office. So I know his attitude towards India. And uh, if, uh, he feels that there are too many uh, Indians in Maldives already working. But then when you go think about it, there are more Bangladeshis than uh, Sri Lankans working in Maldives. And Indians occupy a position in, uh, in Maldives uh, uh, expatriate uh, labor force, expatriate workforce, where they are man managerial, with their managerial skills are advantageous to Maldives and it's beneficial to the country. There are a lot of accountants, managers, office managers and uh, high quality, uh, high caliber people. And uh, uh, I, I don't know, maybe uh, uh, President Yamin is feeling uncomfortable with this type of uh, uh, high, high quality people coming from India to work in Maldives. But we need them. There are doctors, there are nurses, there are medical uh, uh, people, and we need all these people. And uh, I think uh, unilaterally doing this kind of thing uh, by Maldives, uh, 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 you know, under the table, like, uh, is completely wrong. And it's. Uh, disrespect and it is an insult to India as well and uh, if there is an issue with uh, uh, visa uh, uh, in, uh, between Maldives and India they should talk about it. Large is the shadow of China looming over the bilateral relations between India and Maldives? I think um, uh, I believe uh, that the Maldivian government today is completely wrong in their foreign policy and uh, they have deviated from uh, traditional foreign policy and uh, gone away from it and that is detrimental to, uh, to India. We see we have an agreement with India and Maldives that we should not do anything that, is, that compromises the national security of one another and I think Maldives is doing exactly that. And uh, without any consultation going on, this uh, the relationship with uh, in, with uh, with China and uh, um, uh, giving land to them, and uh, which could be converted at any time they want into military military places. You know what's happening in the spread list. You know how they have reclaimed places, and uh, now they have got missiles in those places. So we actually we Maldivians don't want uh, Maldives to be a center of this kind of Cold War uh, situation. We want to live in peace. We won't be able to catch our tuna and survive, you know. And uh, all these things are getting getting into difficulties because of this, uh, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, disrespect towards our neighbors. And uh, this kind of thing is not acceptable to uh, uh, Maldivians. And I think uh, uh, what India needs to do today is to uh, actually put your, put your foot down and say that, look, this is not acceptable to us. And you better bring back democracy. Also, India seems to have reduced its commodities that it was sending to Maldives now in its fresh list of supplies. Do you think India is being a little more harsh than should have been because this affects the people of Maldives instead? Yes, uh, I don't know what to say about that because I just heard about it this morning. And uh, the list is uh, quite, uh, uh, quite... Normally, uh, even during our government, uh, India had reduced uh, so many things. We could always negotiate. We, we, we used to speak to India and I think there is room for negotiations on, on, on these issues because India is not necessarily um, uh, uh, trying to penalize the people of Maldives. You know, they've always been uh, kind to the people of Maldives. And if uh, uh, there is a need for uh, increasing the uh, imports from India, I think the government uh, of Maldives should negotiate with India and also accept what India says, you know, in, because it is in the end detrimental to the people of Maldives. So. The government behaving in such a manner, making um, uh, countries that, are, that have been traditional friends, um, adversaries, 
is not the best way for a government to function.